I'm Chris Trott with Team TaylorMade, joined by Grant Horvat. We have the QI10 here. We're going to go and put this through its paces. I couldn't think of a better person to do it. Grant, hey. how are you, mate? Good to see you. Thanks for having me, Trotty. You've hit a few of these already. I know you're excited about them. Yeah, this is, we're starting out here with the Max, which is the more forgiving one. But just looking at this driver right away, all the carbon, it's super shiny. It's unbelievable looking. I like the blue face too. Let's not waste any time. You I'm strike excited. some of those down there and let's get into it. All right. What's going on guys? Before we go on with the rest of today's video, TaylorMade and I have an announcement. We are teaming up to give away a QI10 of your choice. You pick the head, you pick the shaft, we'll do the rest. All you gotta do, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment, and we will pick one winner to win a new QI10 of your choice. Let's get back to the video. Let's hit a couple here with this, Max. Now, looking at this right away, it's a little bit bigger of a head. I like it. It looks like I, I mean, you can't miss the face. Oh my. Trotty, you did something to this driver. You just took it in the tour truck. Yeah, that felt I mean, good. That's really good. So basically, a couple of things I saw earlier from a few shots you hit and I couldn't help myself. I had to go and have a little tweak of this. I want you to feel like you can let one go and send it. This is where I wanted it to be earlier with the 13 and the 2.5 spin. That's great. Wow. Normalized, you're coming down a bit because we're down breeze, remember I said that. So having 2,500 spin on it, down breeze like that, it looked like it hung in there. Right. Good first bounce, which is worth having. But I want you to feel like as a player that you can just let this go. Right. A little on the range, you were a bit reluctant to give it everything. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm going to get after this. Because I don't think that you're going to lose the dispersion on this. That's the whole point of this driver. Yeah, I Energy like transfer is extremely efficient with the new 60 layers of carbon that we've refined. Like I touched on earlier, there's more carbon in this, so we've got weight in different places to give you that high MOI. Whenever you right. put weight to the perimeters like this, high MOI. Straightest driver you're going to hit. It looks so... Nice and forgiving. Much larger look to it. Lot, right? Yeah, a lot larger, a lot more forgiving. Here we go. Let's hit another one here, Trotty. So I can get after this, you're saying? I think so. Okay. And that's what I want to see. I want to see all the different things here. All the different flights, different ball shapes. And that's now what we got that we didn't have on the range. Just a little adjustment of the weights there on the tour truck. Again, look That's at the bounding good. on on the fairway. Yeah, that was it. Similar ball speed to where we were, but we've had two great drives. And I can see, looking at this, that spin rate's very consistent. You've got your launch angles coming in there at 12.1 and 12.9, 2,500 both on the spin. Oh, and yeah. the heights have been within two feet. Beautiful. So, I have a QI-10 on the floor. I've got an LS that I want to go last. But lay all these out together, Grant. Yeah, look at the difference here. That's a great spot for you guys to get there. Now we've got the larger head of the Max with the highest MOI. And then we move through where, again, I touched on, there's more carbon in this golf club than ever before. So you can put the weights where you need to put it to give players the projected CG, center of gravity through the face, that right. then gives the right launch and spin that you need. So this head is going to be a little more spinny for us oh, than so that, the that's, LS. This, okay, gotcha. So that's not the Max. No, this is the straight QI-10. But this is less spinny than the Max. Uh, the, no, slightly different because the CG, less, uh, more spin than the LS. Gotcha. And then I'll go into LS at the end. Okay, so this is just the normal. But again, down breeze, this is probably going to look fantastic. And for any fitters out there, again, you have to take note of where the breeze is to figure out what numbers you absolutely want. Okay, here we okay, go. Okay, set up for you. QI-10 is in. Here we same go. Same target. Let's hit that again. Same swing. That was hit well. Cut the dog leg. So as we like move between clubs, and on tour this would be the same way, I wouldn't say, I mean, obviously when you're on a channel like this, you talk that, I'd be like, look, hit another one and let you adjust to 
different CGs, different start lines. You right. already alluded, like you've cut the corner, so you've pushed it a bit on your start line. But, but it still felt like a good strike. 100%. A really good strike. And if I look at the numbers of that last golf shot here, then, I mean, it's brilliant, mate. Yeah. And it, now we're gaining, but totally. we gained a bit more speed as well. Whenever I gain speed, I can gain yardage. So okay. 165 ball speed, 13.6 and 2400, good Three numbers. 20, that thing went. Downwind though, but still. I mean. Most impressive thing about him is always club path and attack angle, always good, very consistent. Get after that one a little more. A little Healy. Yeah. Not too bad though. I think that was pretty close to the center. And this shows you again, you as a player got after it a bit more, 166 ball speed. So yeah, you did. Yeah. And I think the best thing about you when I watch you is you just keep the transition so pure. Anyone out there like wanting to learn something from your swing, for me, it's almost like an Ernie Els-esque transition. Yeah, I, so well, when I try and swing hard, it actually looks no different. Yeah. It's kind of embarrassing, you know? This feels really good though, this head. I. So this is a little smaller than the Max, right? Correct. Okay. So this is kind of like the hybrid between the Max and the LS. This you got it. And the next head I'm going to give you is going to be the LS. Okay. So there you go. You've adjusted. I mean, that that's was great. It. That was it. One, six, seven ball speed, Grant. That's good. That's a good send. 13.6 launch, spin rate coming up for us now. That was the longest one there. Uh, so it probably spun at like 2,500 again and 316, really good. Wow. So before we hit the LS, I'm actually, I had you set up before with the weight slightly in the toe. I'm gonna move it now back to the center based on what I've seen with that golf shot. Gotcha. Again, I can't highlight it enough. If you're fitting someone, you gotta be aware of direction of wind and things like that because it really impacts a player of your level how you start it right now i'm confident i've got two out of the three heads pretty good for you and i really like where we're going to go with the ls so you do you think this ls is going to go further than i all think the, the given other the spin rate could drop a little bit yeah but i also think and i want you to talk about the reaction rather than me where you said to, a couple of things to me off camera that if i put this down now it's just, I mean, it's a nice look. How do you feel yeah. about that? I'm a big looks guy. I mean, if you're looking down at a putter or a driver, you want to look down at something you really like. I feel like this Confidence, driver head. Right? Yeah. I feel like it's a lot smaller. I mean, it is, but I, I like that look. It's more, I mean, it's what I'm used to. I would say this size head is exactly what I'm used to. So let's see a couple here. Let's see if they go further. I can actually see where the ball's landing out there, which is cool. Okay, this is the LS now. And this should be quite neutral for you. You should be able to hit the full send button on this one and we should get a good start line. Okay, let's see if we go further than the other ones. That felt good. Great was, sound, right? That was hit right in the center of the face. Just a little so right. This is the head that Rory started with and Tommy Fleetwood started with. You can tell now you're getting the confidence, your club speed, your ball speed are up, down to 2,200 spin. So right. for anyone out there who's trying to understand that, that's not spinning up for us. I know you're wow. going to look at that number and be very happy, right? Wow. 326, yeah, 326 total. Holy. Okay. Let's hit another one here. Let's get after this. I think this driver is going to go a lot further, this head. 298 carry. It's insane for me. That's great there. I mean, yeah, that was hit. Now I want to see, I want to see where this lands. Yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, it's starting to get, a, I got a lot more rollout than the other ones. The great thing about you, and this is again what we can't lose, is you're looking at ball flight and you're looking at land zone. We could pick all these balls up pretty quickly. So that's testament right. to how great you are with driver. 2.2 path, six degrees up, brilliant. This number here, I think people will have to just think about this. 107 feet in peak right. height. Rory's like 120, 130. You've hit slightly higher than that. But in this shot, 
with that wind and then the 37 degree land angle, there wouldn't be much more now in an actual fitting I would want to do. That's so, gone 320, it's gone 11 and it's spun 2200. It could be a hair low because we're down breeze, but if I turn and ask you to hit a golf shot into the breeze, this is going to be amazing. Yeah, that. So from my fitting point of view, I've got three clubs here that are all pretty good. Now we've got to lose the monitor and look at it as a player and hit well, different shapes. I will say the feel, the contact when it comes off the actual driver head, um, this one feels different than the other ones. The Max feels like a more hollow. This feels just a little bit different. It's more similar to the Stealth that yep. I play now. Um, I like them all, but this one just feels more powerful coming off the face. And I like the weighting and everything on this. It just feels really solid, this driver head. And that was hit hard. Like that's the line you'd want to take on the course. Yeah, easy cruise to carry. That felt One, six, really... seven ball speed, 13 launch again, 2,500, 314 total. Let's see if we get after one. Let's get after one for fun. Find what that do you one... think I can get ball speed, I think you can find Roddy. 170 ball speed, right? One, I've seen 170? You do it I don't yeah. know if I got that, but let's see. Don't aim too far right now. Keep your target line. That's was it. I aiming a little? Was I drifting off? Yeah, you're drifting, and that's why they're getting out there a bit. <laughs> it happens. Good hit there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was it. Let's see where that ends up. Oh, it's not much further. 15 see, in my launch. brain, I'm swinging so hard. You got that little high in the toe? Yeah, high yeah. toe. 15 launch, 1900, so 323, and you lost a little bit of speed because it was high toe, so it's 168.8. 168, though. So if you get that out the center and you're there. Yeah, that was it. 114 club speed. Come and just... For me, visually, this is my favorite, the LS. Yeah. Let's see if we can get 170. Definitely a bit more in the tank there. That was it. You knew that was it, right? Yeah, that was 71.2. 71.9. There we go. 171.9. And that's what happens every that time we bring monitors out. That thing almost went through the fairway, guy. actually, over the back. 330. That was the best one all day. 330 total, 113, 36 land angle, really good. I got to swing like that on the course. I think it's a really good demonstration to yeah. how these heads can work. And that is just an initial fitting. I mean, honestly, that's as much as I'd put into that. If it was a tour situation, it would now be one of them. It's on you, champ. See you later. Well, what would you say from numbers and everything? Would you say the LS is the correct one for me? I, I wouldn't sleep on the other two, and I would want to see them on a golf course in different wind directions. Right. At this early, early stage. But as a player, if you're leading me down that avenue, then I would probably now continue down that road with you. Yeah. Because that you haven't hit one. I mean, look, even talking to you, I've highlighted every single circle there is, and you haven't hit one offline. Yeah, and it's done. Good. The only time I said to you, look, the correction is, which means the ball was doing what you were aiming to do. Right. So for me as a fitter, it's doing everything I want it to do. So it's a now situational situation. You hand it over to you as the CEO of your own game, and that's what people should do that are watching this. If yeah. you're a player, you now make the decision. If I'm a fitter, obviously, I'd love to walk down this avenue a bit further. But, I mean, for me, it's a great demonstration of uh, all the drivers. I mean, it feels so good, this one. I feel like it's going further, too. I think by the end of today, you'll probably want to just be hitting that one. Yeah. But don't sleep on the other. I mean, the coolest thing, guys, we actually were in the tour truck earlier. Um, and we got to see the video of when you actually hit a miss hit off the toe and the, the old stealth, the face opened up like that. Yeah. This new QI 10, it barely opened. The QI we got to see that on slow-mo. Slow yeah. So they're like, well, I mean, I mean, I think that's called the gear effect, right? Yeah. It's, it's again, it's moment of inertia. And by having all this mass back here in the max, that is what you're gaining from it by having right. some. So not everyone hits it the way you hit it. Not everyone strikes it that consistent. Even Colin Morikawa is saying that he only hits one solid one around. Somehow those were actually all in the center, like yeah. almost. No, you hit I only, them good. I only hit a couple high toes. Must have been the way it was put together. Yeah. You're hitting them good. Trotty went straight to that tour van, got the weighting right. It actually feels really you're hitting good. Them good. Well, Trotty, we just got done getting fit for the QI10 driver. I have a hard decision to make because they're all great. All the models are wonderful and they're currently live. So go get yours today. Easy student to work with. As he says, they're out today. Be sure to get fit for these things. Each model, different level.
great demonstration. Check them out.